all right guys welcome back to the channel so uh, i'm getting close to uh starting uh nobunaga's ambition awakening uh run pretty soon um so let me just say right off the bat if you want to uh follow that make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss those uploads um but with that said i wanted to do a quick little video and just talk about how to get started in this game uh, you know, if you're new, if you're coming over for Romance of the Three Kingdoms, uh, if you haven't played a Nobunaga's Ambition game like me, uh, it's been quite a while. I used to play the, you know, my favorite ones were the older ones. I played a little bit of Spirit of uh, Influence. Um, but yeah, if you just want to know how to get started, okay, your, how to get your economy going, you know, as heavy as this game is, it's got a lot to it. There's a lot of nuance. There's a lot of things. There's a lot of toys in the box, right, with this game. It's a lot bigger sandbox than uh, uh, Romance of the Three Kingdoms. It's a lot denser. But with all that said, you can still play it. You know, it still comes down to the same old, same old. You need to get your economy going, get your soldiers, so that then you can go fight the battles that decide whether or not you get to expand. So that you can get more economy, snowball, and all that. So, I just want to give you guys some quick tips. So to get your commerce, your food, your crops, as it's called in this, going. There's two commands that you need to do right off the bat. So you can see up there, you can see your, your commerce on the left, and you can see your crops on the right. Now that goes up every month. You can see the rate and all that. But you can see the guy flexing his bicep up there. That's your labor. So you get to issue four orders every month to begin with. And it might be different based on if you're choosing a bigger Dymo. You know, if you're, if you're going with a bigger force, it might be different. But let's say you're starting with a smaller force and you, your economy is more limited and all that stuff, right? A small faction start, which is what most people like to start in these games. Um, so you have your labor there. You have four of them. The first thing that you want to do in this game, first two things I'm going to say because they're equally important, is you see your territory here is made up of all these little lands here, all these little counties. So you want to make sure, okay, let's say, let's take my main one for example. One, two, three, four, five where the castle is and six total. So there's six counties here. You want to make sure that you have people working tending to all these counties, all your officers. So to do that, I'm gonna hit square. I'm gonna go to a point here. And you have two commands, dominion and substitute. Both of these essentially do the same thing. The difference is that dominion, you're giving land, you're gonna give land to officers, which is, so that land's gonna be theirs, in other territories that belong to you. Other provinces that you have, so I have two castles, I have the main one, and I have the second one, Sawayama over here. So when I go over here to Sawayama, there's already people that have land started. So the game's already determined that they have it. And you can see on the right there, it says I have one lord already assigned, and I have two land owners out of four. So these two, these two spaces right here that are kind of grayed out, see how they're not filled in? There's no land owners there. So what I want to do is... Uh, I want to put, go to the list, you're going to see the exclamation, here they are, and I want to assign two people there. And there's going to be, you know, different candidates, there's going to be some things to consider, some officers' loyalties will go up. You might, you might find and bargain with other off officers who are going to want land. There's going to be officers who will only join you if you promise them land. You know, but just for the video, we're just going to do it very quickly. So I'm going to choose somebody. There's going to be better candidates. You can check for modifiers to improve your castle. For example, uh, Kas Kasumasa, he's going to improve the overall capability of the castle just by being assigned here. But we'll assign him. It'll show you that. I will take care of it. Now it's filled in. So now we have a landowner here. I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to find somebody. Assign them. I'm deeply grateful. Okay. 
Now the reason this is so important is because you only have four special orders that you can give to develop your territories. But here's the thing, each officer that you give a plot of land to, that uh, samurai is now responsible for that land. So he will start developing the land by himself without any input from you. So that means two things. There, it does not going to cost you any labor and it's not going to cost you any money. You know, he's going to pay it out of his pension or whatever, his own earnings coming out of his own pocket, right? So it's really important that you get the territories outside. So that, that's for this. That was, um, that was Dominion. Now, if you want to, now you also want to fill in the spaces that are inside your castle. So again, I'm going to go to that's substitute. So I'm going to go substitute. Same thing. There's two spaces. There's three spaces here. This one's an exclamation. I think because I removed that other guy away. So I'm going to click on Kunitomo. You can see the employment type. So if they're attendant, then they're not in charge. They're not caretaking any of your territories. If, they're sub if they have substitute, they're already assigned to something. So I'm going to put somebody on there. I will take care of it. Okay. Same thing. I'm just going to fill them all in. You have my thanks. And when you assign them, they'll even tell you what they're going to start working on. I'm in your debt. So you can see here, he says, leave it to me. I think the first step will be increasing the farm in our territory. They call it seizing in this game. Not developing. See, everything is seizing. I'm going to seize farm. I'm going to seize fair, which is increasing your commerce, markets, and all that. But I'll tell you. Now everything's filled in. So you got to fill in all these spaces because all these officers are now developing all your counties for you. So there's not a lot of like very direct control where in past games it's not quite as crunchy in that sense but it's you know it's fine it's you're not giving up a lot of oversight or anything like that because you can still come in with your labor you still I still have my labor so now that I've assigned all this everyone's assigned all these officers are working here I'm gonna hit square so that was Dominion Dominion is to assign people give them land away outside of your uh, main province and substitute is to make uh, have people help you develop assign them to a county in your province so there it's essentially the same concept except the minion is giving them the land away from and substitute they're just caretaking the land of, in your main base because you own that main base so if that makes sense to you guys you can't give them that you can't permanently give them that land because it it's all yours it belongs to your diamo it's your diamo's home all of it okay now later on you can unlock relocate you can see it back there but that's policies that's a whole different bag of worms so that's the first thing i wanted to show you the point the second thing is civil so you go over here to civil develop now you can spend your orders which is your labor so i'm going to click on develop and the list is going to come up again of all my counties so i'm going to want to go down here i'm going to want to pick one now your counties are going to develop differently because you have all these caretakers. They're going to de they're going to develop. They're going to have their own projects. So time goes on, they're going to develop differently. But I'm going to click on one of them. They're all pretty even. Let's go on the bottom one here, Magatami. So you can see on the left, it only has one farmland and two fairs. I'm going to press X, and this screen's going to come up. You can see that the farm is one out of three. So the substitute, the caretaker assigned to it, he's already working on it. But the fair is open. So I can click on the fair. And you can see it's going to cost 100 gold and one labor. And it tells you the effect. So you're going to start getting, once it's done, 10 more commerce every month. Now once you click off of it, you can see it's going to be blue. You hit confirm. And now, it's, now there's an order. You spent one labor. So when I go back out, see the bicep there? It highlights it went down by one. And you can see under activity, I now have this bar that says develop county. Because I'm, devel I'm spending one labor. So your labor is not going to come back. That one labor is not going to restore until this county is done being built. And it tells you right there how long it's going to take. 35 days until it's complete. So a little over a month. So you only get four of these. So you get some oversight in the beginning, 
But as far as developing, again, you can only have so much influence because let's see, I'm gonna... In the beginning of the game, I highly recommend this. Just assign all your guys and then start, you know, figure out, do you wanna focus more on gold income or crop income, which I'm gonna do gold just for the basis of the of this little video, but see the labor's all gone. There's the bar. There's four counties being developed. So until all those are built, I'll start getting my labor back one by one. Little by little, I'll get it all back. But you guys, can, you can see right off the bat, you only get four-ish orders. So it's really important. It's really important that you go to a point, go to Dominion, make sure that there's that you give people land so they can be developing, helping you develop and make sure that you have substitutes helping you with the counties under your main castle. So you can really get, this is how you jumpstart your economy right away, very, very quickly. You know, how you get straight to it. This is, those are the opening things that you wanna do. You gotta get these two commands down. Appoint, Dominion, Substitute, make sure that these are filled out, make sure there's people working on everything that you can possibly do. And then after that, then you can develop. You know, developing is like, you know, you're going through with the fine comb and you're looking at everything and trying to figure out a game plan. I don't recommend that you build buildings, you know, nothing like that in the beginning, unless you're playing as a bigger force, maybe they're, they're, you're more developed, whatever. But if you're playing as a small force, you're just starting out, go when you just go to develop and immediately start. Now, one last thing I want to talk about is this right here so up here on the tab you're gonna see uh, i think it's called where is it is it reports okay under the report list up here so up here you're gonna see reports you're gonna see clan targets so click under clan targets and this is a list of things that you can do that will give you special bonuses and rewards. So the one that I want, that I think uh, you guys should always try to do right away is total crops. So you can see total crops, the condition is to have 5,000 crops right away. You get a letter of commendation, but the big thing that you get, special reward, once you get hit that 5,000, it says your Diamo province, your max labor goes up by one. So by doing this, you'll increase the amount of orders that you get by one. And when you hit five stars, you'll get another one when you hit seven stars. But that's that maximum, the requirement that you have to hit is going to go up and up. So, you know, the idea is that as you expand, it'll be easier to hit those target goals because the crops is going to go up to 10,000, maybe 20,000. But with just two castles, you can hit 5,000 total crops pretty quickly. So I highly recommend that you go try to get this goal as soon as you can i'm pretty sure you can just stockpile gold if you want and then just go to the merchant and buy buy your way up to 5,000 total crop just to get this max labor I, again i think it's worth it now other things on the list there's a lot of other things on the list there's prestige that gives you gold i mean there's a lot of different things yeah, a lot of things are hidden in this game through the ui so you just kind of have to look around but there's a lot of stuff here that supports like advanced play, builds, how you build your clan, all that stuff. But just to keep it simple, for, for this one, I would just say, try to hit this goal, get 5,000 crops as soon as you can, so that you can get um, five labor right away. The more labor, the more orders that you can issue. Not everything costs one labor. Some of your bigger projects are gonna cost two labor, even three labor. So. As time goes on, you're gonna want that. It's gonna, it's just gonna pay dividends. You know, you want to snowball as fast as you can. Uh, one more thing too. Crops in this game affects your total troops. So it's a little different than Romance of the Three Kingdoms. If you're coming from that, you do need to pay attention to your farms. It's much more important that you increase your crop capacity from your territory, your yield, not just stockpile gold and then just oh i can just buy a bunch of food later no your crop capacity directly affects how many troops you have so that's another thing anyway so that's going to be it for the video uh i already think i rambled a little too long 
but yeah, I hope you guys, I um, uh, hope you guys got that. So, again, a point, Dominion, substitute, and then civil, develop, and just try to hit that 5,000 crop goal so that you can get that extra labor, and hopefully that can start, you know, jump-starting your economy to where you can start building out from there. But, uh, yeah, if you guys have any questions in the comments, let me know. Um, I should, like I said, I'll probably have a run starting for this game pretty soon. And, uh, yeah, if you guys haven't uh, subscribed already to the channel, make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any more videos on this one, on this uh, game. So, uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Till then, take care.